This is the Behind the Line podcast, and this is Pacific Northwest Headline News in three minutes for Friday, February 11th, 2022. Two bills currently being proposed in the Washington State Senate and House, SB 5670 and HB 1782, would allow denser housing with fewer limitations throughout the state, doing away with single-family residential zoning laws. Both would require cities of at least 20,000 people to allow more housing types within a half mile of major transit stop, including bus routes with weekday service every 15 minutes. Under the Senate proposal, single family lots in those areas would allow up to six plexes. Wouldn't you like to have one of those next to your house? The House approach advanced Tuesday would allow four plexes on a single family lots larger than 4,500 square feet. These choices and decisions need to be left up to the local municipalities to decide this should not be a state government decision. This is a bad idea for residential neighborhoods. We need to keep some areas less populated. With the COVID-19 public health emergency likely ending in the coming months, 300,000 Oregonians are set to lose their Medicaid coverage. The Oregon Health Plan grew by 300,000 to 1.2 million, helping Oregon achieve the highest rate of insurance coverage ever at 95.4% in 2021. The greatest coverage gains were among low-income adults, making between 138% and 401% of the federal poverty level. Now 25,000 people per month could lose coverage. They are working with the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services to be advocating for flexibility and creating paths to land people softly into a new program that provides continuous coverage. The free ride is coming to an end, folks. Spokane County Prosecutor Washington Larry Haskell is under some scrutiny and has issued a formal apology for racist comments his wife made on social media. Leslie Haskell has made uh, comments on social media, including using the N-word to describe MSNBC host Joy Reid, who is black, and using racial slurs for Chinese people, white people, Latinos, Jews, and gay people. She also described herself as a proud white nationalist. The prosecutor has apologized for his wife's comments and tried to distance himself from her, but really... I guess she applied her racism equitably to everyone, it sounds like. I think that guy needs to go. And a California prosecutor, former prosecutor of the year, campaigning to be a judge, has been fired from his job in the Orange County District Attorney's Office after an internal investigation into the withholding of evidence in a murder case. The prosecutor had withheld information for several years about using jailhouse informants and other problems. And this has been an ongoing problem for the Orange County Prosecutor's Office in the past. Our elected officials, folks, there's no end to the corruption. And this murder case was overturned as well. This has been Pacific Northwest Headline News in three minutes. For more, visit BehindTheLinePodcast.com. Have a great weekend and thanks for listening.